फ्रेंड्स टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज testes develops from the genital ridge which develops in the posterior abdominal wall in the lumbar region which is present just medial to the dorsal mesentery of the hindgut so let us consider this diagram in which this is the cut section of the embryo at the level of the hindgut or at the level of the lumbar region in which we can see the hindgut cut section of the hindgut the dorsal mesentery the posterior abdominal wall and from the posterior abdominal wall the nephrogenic cord developed from the intermediate mesoderm which is covered by the cerumen epithelium as we have seen in the previous video on development of kidney four structures appear in the nephrogenic cord that is the paramesonephric duct which is the most lateral medial to it appears the mesonephric duct connecting with the mesonephric duct is the small mesonephric tubules which will form the mesonephros and most medial structure is a ridge which is known as genital ridge which is formed by the thickening of the cerumic epithelium covering the genital ridge so the cerumic epithelium covering the genital ridge gets thickened up to form a ridge like structure here on the medial side which is known as genital ridge okay now with further development the cells of the genital ridge will proliferate and will form cord like structures which will pierce or penetrate into the underlying mesenchyme these cord like structures penetrating the underlying mesenchyme is known as primitive sex cords the primordial germ cells which are present in the wall of the hindgut which have initially developed from the yolk sac migrate into this genital ridge at about 4 to 6 weeks of intra uterine life so you can draw here from the wall of this hindgut appears the primordial germ cells which will start migrating through the dorsal mesentery of this hindgut and will enter into this genital ridge so these are the primordial germ cells which will further give rise to the spermatogonia or the oocytes depending upon it is male or female here in the genital ridge we can see here that this outer region is known as the cortex and the inner mesenchymal region is known as the medulla at this stage of development this developing gonad can't be differentiated into male or female therefore this gonad is known as indifferent gonad so this is in different gonad this this indifferent gonad has an outer cortex in which these primitive sex cords are present and an inner medulla which is composed of now mesenchyme the further development of this indifferent gonad will depend upon the y chromosome if y chromosome is present that is the genotype is male the y chromosome has a sex determining region which is known as sry gene which produces a factor known as testes determining factor under the influence of this sry gene which is producing this testes determining factor the primitive sex cords 
will continue to proliferate and penetrate deeper into the medulla. So this thing we can draw it here. This is the genital ridge. Now the primitive sex cords will proliferate. and will penetrate deeper into the mesenchyme or the medulla these longer sex cords penetrating into the medulla of the developing gonad is now known as medullary cords now these primordial germ cells these primordial germ cells will now enter into this medullary cords and will get mixed within these cords. Okay, now we can see here that the medullary cords are now composed of the proliferating cells of the genital ridge and the primordial germ cells. The ends of these medullary cords will now anastomose with each other and form a network-like structure that will with further development will form the rate testes. Now with further development a thick fibrous connective tissue will appear between the surface epithelium and the developing testes. That will separate the surface epithelium and the testes. This dense connective tissue is known as tunica albuginea. Now the red testes will join the mesonephric tubules which are present in the mesonephros. These are the remnant mesonephric tubules. And these mesonephric tubules as you have already seen will open into this mesonephric duct. Okay. These mesonephric tubules will form the future efferent ductules. And the mesonephric duct will form the epidermis and the ductus deferens. The sex cords remain as solid structures till the puberty, and at puberty, these solid cord like structures will become canalized to form seminiferous tubules. These are known as seminiferous tubules. That will contain smetogonia that has developed from the primordial germ cells. And Sertoli cells 
which has developed from the cells of the medullary cords. Okay, the surrounding mesenchyme here and here will form different cells. which will be producing a hormone that is testosterone and these cells are known as Leydig cells. Or interstitial cells of Leydig that will produce the testosterone. After the canalization of these seminiferous tubules, these seminiferous tubules will now will be communicating with these efferent ductus through the rated testes this is the rated testes and through the efferent ductus will communicate with the mesonephric duct so in the later view also we can see here so these were the developing seminiferous tubules. This was the mesonephric duct. These were the mesonephric tubules present in the mesonephros. In per deployment, the ends of the seminiferous tubule will anastomose to form the rated testes, which will communicate with these efferent ductules or vasa efferentia. Okay, and that will further communicate with the mesonephric duct. This mesonephric duct will coil on itself. This is the mesonephric duct. It will coil on itself to form the epidermis and the distant straight part will become the ductus deferens. This is the ductus deferens. And this is the epidermis. As the testes are deployed in the lumbar region, it descends to the scrotum. At about three months, it appears in the iliac fossa. Three months, iliac fossa. To the starting of the seventh month, it reaches the deep inguinal ring. And during seventh month, it traverses the inguinal canal and reaches the scrotum at the end of eighth month. Eighth month scrotum. Several factors are responsible for the descent of the testes. Number one is the differential growth of the body wall. Number two, formation of Inguinal bursa, number three, gubernoculum, number four, process vaginalis, and number five, seven hormones are also responsible for the descent of the testes. Thank you. This is the deployment of the testes.